Howdy friends and neighbors, this is Jared with Flutie Lake Homestead. And uh, I know uh, we ain't, uh, you ain't seen me in a while on here. And I just thought I would give you an update and tell you everybody's okay. And uh, after the ice storm, most of you probably know we had a lot of flooding in our area. And we was without internet and power for a few days. But uh, finally the water went down enough that we could get out to town. And uh, all's good now, but it just uh, kept me busy with uh, my magistrate work that I do for in the county. And had to do some... Um, flood related stuff but anyway we're back and I'm gonna give you an update now on uh, everything we've had going on and uh, we've got some uh, new members of the farm here in this video so uh, this will be like uh, starting over with spring you know there's new life and uh, everything's starting out and we've got a few peas in the ground and everything's uh, just real exciting around the place now and I uh, look forward to get on a good video schedule with you folks and also, I wanted to uh, thank everybody who has messaged me and uh, contacted me on Facebook and YouTube, uh, checking in on us, making sure everybody was okay and if we need anything. And uh, that means the world to us. We really appreciate it. And also, I wanted to uh, thank uh, everybody who has uh, bought the greasy bean seeds online. We have sold out, of course. And also, if you did not receive a package of greasy bean seeds from me, uh, please let me know because I had one come back damaged in the mail and I want to make sure I get them uh, packed back to them and uh, I didn't have the address on it so I have no way of finding who it is and I've uh, emailed people on Etsy so um, just if you haven't received one from me uh, I will get it to you just let me know uh, you can email me at flutielickhomestead at gmail.com or message me on the, our Facebook page and uh so yeah, really appreciate everybody who done that, and also appreciate uh, all the letters and cards we've had this year, and uh, we've had several packages come with things, and I really appreciate the subscriber who sent me the um, the cleats for my boots for the ice after they seen me sliding on the ice there, uh, they sent me a pair of those ice cleats. So uh, knock on wood, I haven't had any ice since, but I'm ready when I do. So anyway, we'll get on with the video. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and appreciate you all. What are you getting, Pam? A cow! Come here and show me. Yeah, hold her up there. Lincoln's feeding the baby its first bottle on the farm. <laughs> that tail's a twitching. I think he likes it. Yep. Fed a lot of babies in my life, but never a baby cow. <laughs> That's the biggest one, ain't it? <laughs> That's for sure the biggest one. <laughs> we may have to get you one of them bottle holders. Yeah. I gotta adjust his heat light down. We got him a heat light in here, but he probably won't need it. It's gonna be pretty warm, but we're gonna leave it on for the night. 
He's backing you in the corner, ain't he, like? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come over here, honey. Come over here, baby. He's a fine-looking little bull. We'll get some better video of him tomorrow in the daylight. Here you go. Look here, what I got. Nellie was looking through the crack at him a minute ago. They were oh, trying yes. to figure each other out. Um, Jim, who I got him from, suggested we might put a gate in the her stall oh, yeah. and let her, him be on one side and her on the other and let him get a company. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yep. Look at her, look. <laughs> Hi, Hi big baby. Hi, big baby girl. <laughs> she knows it's another cow in here. Look at them eyes. <laughs> She's got a date with a boyfriend here coming up in another two months. It's hard to hold on to it for him, ain't it? <laughs> I hope I got that big enough. Did you cut it any? Yeah, I okay. made an X in it. Yeah, the, the hole in the nipple was a little small. <laughs> you like that? Well, hello, Miner. What's Miner in here? Everybody's seeing the new baby on the farm. Yeah, everybody's checking him out. That'd be all the cat needs a bottle. It'd weigh 30 pounds. <laughs> what do you think, Miner? <laughs> what do you think, buddy? He's wanting that heat light. They may be buddies. <laughs> Snuggle buddies. There's probably a trick to this. We just don't know it. <laughs> That we're first time calf parents. He's, uh... he's drunk about a quarter of it, ain't yeah. he? Yeah. Oh, he's feeling good. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Big mama in there. <laughs> she don't know what to think. Mm -mm. She went a little wild, didn't she? Yeah. That heat feel good? She may be jealous now. That She's normally my good. pet. Set your bottle up, like. There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna get a shot of uh, Nellie in here. <laughs> See what she's doing. It's dark in here where you are. She's making a big cow. She's pretty. Too dark. Go back over here to little brisket. If we name him, we'll have to name him something beef related. That way, if we uh, we ain't sure about his fate yet, what we'll do, we'll probably keep him at least six or eight months and either sell him or butcher him. But I don't think we want to keep him as a bull. He's not related. He come from the same farm, but he's not related to uh, Nelly. Oh, really? So, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's what uh, Jim said. Uh, mm -hmm. So we could keep him for a bull, but I really don't want to keep a bull around just for what few cows we'll have. I don't know. Time will tell. What do you think? You need a break? You need to brush him. Look at Nellie behind you, like. <laughs> Hello, honey. Hello, honey. What are you doing? <laughs> You can see how big she is now that you have a baby one in here. Yeah. Yes, you can. There's Mr. Miner. Or, uh, Cosmo the cat. Uh, is he down here too? Yeah. He was in the stall with the cow. Everybody wants to meet the new baby. Yeah. <laughs> These two jaybirds is playing in the mud. It's one of the warmer days we've had, but it's about 65. It's just nasty and flooding. Yeah, stomp that leaf dam out of there. Yeah. What? What? I said stomp that leaf dam out of there. Let the water run. 
Oh yeah. Hold the bottle for him. Hold still, he'll stop. There you go.
This little fella is two weeks old now. And wilder than a buck. <laughs> Eating good. Ain't never had the scours yet. Coughed a little there. He sucked that last bit of that bottle down quick. And uh, I've had him now. I can uh, cut my fingers like this with some of the calf pellets in it. And he'll uh, put them in his mouth and chew on them a little bit. So that's good, I reckon. And uh, all in all, I think he's doing really good. He likes that heat light at night. I know he probably don't need it, but I turn it on at night time for him and he'll snuggle up right underneath it. Might lay him out and play a while tomorrow. You can't hardly go in the stall now to bottle feed him because he just wools you to death. But he's growing good. I can tell he's grew a whole lot since we've had him. <laughs> well here's the barn right now it's flooding everywhere around us and my pipes will not carry the water i got a eight inch drain here and uh, it just won't carry it normally uh it'll hold everything coming and i've got it ditched here starting out to try to keep it off of my calf and I've got it under control some. It was like a river down through here. But it's going to be a muddy mess. Thankfully, little boy here don't even know it's a rain, I don't think. So praise the Lord for that. So we're going to keep these ditches opened up and uh, just uh, pray for everybody who is uh, getting flooded right now.